what's going on everybody welcome back jacked up fishing we're loading up for the bahamas today got the boat hooked up to the truck and we're heading down to lake worth I'm gonna do a little bahamas crossing for you guys i'm gonna video the whole thing show you how we do it show where we park show us how we do the whole process of getting down there and clearing customs so stick around it should be a pretty fun adventure all right we got it all loaded up now i'm gonna run grab the bait and we're on the road we're trying to get on the road to go to lake worth by noon so we're under the gun all right this is a big ordeal we just got the boat loaded so now i'm heading to the bait shop i want to get the bait at the last possible second i'm also going to get some dry ice today and put it in there package up our bait so we have nice crisp bait not mushy bait when we get to the bahamas once we get there we can put them back in the freezer but i want to make sure that uh over the next 24 hours to you know 35 hours that our bait will be nice and solid still nothing like having fro uh mushy ballyhoo when you go out fishing all right so i'm gonna head now i'm heading to the local bait shop it's called the fishing shack i grew up with the uh owner the original owner and uh he uh, definitely has awesome baits there. It's nice and got a good freezer system there. So we're heading there now. And then after that, I'm going to head to Publix and grab us some dry ice to throw on top of it. And I'll let you know what, how much it costs, how I package it up, show you what I do. All right, here we go. Got the dry ice. So it's like $17 for the dry ice from Publix. All right, we're off to the bait store. All right, we're at the fishing shack now. Getting ready to go bust up some ballyhoo and some squid. So I just got done with the fishing shack. I'm gonna pull this dry ice out. We got some choice baits, some choice baits. So they hooked us up there. All right, so I had to switch from the 45 or the 30. I don't know what that is. I just switched from the smaller cooler to a little bit bigger cooler. I got dry ice packed on top, dry ice packed on the bottom. So that dry ice, you don't want to touch it too much. You'll get stuck to it. I'm going to put this in the back of the truck. I'm going to get in the shower and we're on our way. So we jump on I-95 South. We got 184 miles to go. Trip looks good. Just did all the trailer work. I'm looking down at my dash and notice I'm getting six miles of the gallon pulling this big boat. That's crazy. So we have, obviously we had to stop for fuel one time. We get down there, we're going to exit 77 West Palm Beach and uh, we get off the exit here and head to Lake Park Marina. So the reason I chose Lake Park Marina is they're one of the only boat ramps in florida on the east coast that is secured and has security for 24 hours it's 30 dollars a night to park there and i'll put the address in the description below but it's 105 lake shore drive lake park florida we're here lake park marina getting ready to dump this boat in got the boys up there doing what they do We're waiting on some friends with some groceries, load them up in the boat, and then we're gonna launch this bad boy. Wasn't a bad drive at all. Exit 77, straight to here pretty much. What? 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 What you got for this selfie stick? All right, we made it out. We put the boat in, and we're here, Lake Worth. Get heading to Sailfish Marina for the night, and then we're gonna head off in the morning. It is blowing. Woo! Got all the Groms up there. Got Caden in here. Oh yeah. We're getting ready. Yes. That's what it looks like. Sailfish Marina. Look at all them big Jack Carvals down there. Them are Jack Carval. No. But they fight good, that's for sure. Look at that. Hey, 
That's right, absolute paradise. We're here waiting to go to the Bahamas. Although it is blowing pretty good right now. Whew. Gonna go grab some grub. Oh, what's that? All right. 5.45 in the morning, we're getting ready to shove off. Look at these new bean bags my boy just bought me. Got my logo on it. Looking boss. We're getting ready to hit the, hit the highway here on the way to the Bahamas. Oh, snap. We're loading kids up. We got the Sea Hunter full. Got the Groms up here. We finally made it. Old Bahama Bay getting ready to check in, get everything situated, get it cleared, and uh, go to the hotel. So we did the click to clear process beforehand, thought it was all done. Got there, customs and immigration are in the same building. Went pretty smooth, got through pretty fast, and as you can see, I got my sticker on the wall here. Got a little shot of that. They didn't like the video in there. So we're in the Bahamas, put, getting some fuel. Got all these braids with stickers. Got everybody's stickers showing up here. What? 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 Oh snap! We just we just cleared customs. We're all set for the week now. It's time to get busy. Unload this boat. Get these kids out of here. I'm ready to go. So this is the entrance to our resort. It's called Blue Marlin Cove. It has the best amenities in the Bahamas, hands down, by far. I can't even explain how awesome this place is. The owner, Joe Riger, spoke to us. He hung out with us for a couple hours one night. His kids swam with our kids in the pool. Very down to earth guy, very knowledgeable about the area, and very helpful if you need any help while you're staying here. Can't say enough good things about this place. I'll also have another video showing the whole resort inside the rooms, the amenities, and all that good stuff. So stay tuned if you want to see more of that. Coming out of the entrance, 
heading out into the New Providence Channel, fishing is literally one mile out. You can catch a lot of stuff. I'm coming out. <laughs> oh man. There ain't no end to it. Oh no. <laughs> Might get thirsty. Oh no. I brought two bottles of water. That's right. You gotta stay hydrated. These boys are getting ready to get serious. Alrighty, this is the first video of my Bahamas series. Please stay tuned. I got conch videos, lobster videos, fishing videos, you name it, I got it. And if you haven't yet, please smash that subscribe button. Okay, see you on the next video.